At last we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last we will have revenge. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to this remastered and updated version of What If Darth Maul Was a Jedi? Now with the ending fight scene fully animated in low poly at the ending. In this episode, we will discuss the possibility and leading events to the galaxy if Maul was discovered by the Jedi Council as a young boy. Also, if you're wondering why Maul in the animation at the end still has his Sith tattoos, even though he's a Jedi now, believe me, I saw what it looked like without the tattoos and he looked like a lobster. This looks much more cool, and much more like Maul. Let's begin. If Darth Maul was a Jedi, this completely rewrites Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Leaving not only Qui-Gon alive to become Anakin's new master and possibly changing his fate, as I believe Qui-Gon had a much more authoritative grasp on his Padawans than Obi-Wan had. But it would change the story of Palpatine who took Maul from Mother Talzin and the Night Sisters as a young boy training him to become a ruthless machine. This would be replaced with the scenario of Maul being so attuned with the Force, as he was, that Yoda sensed his abilities just like Palpatine had, and ventured to Dathomir, Maul's home planet, to learn of this new potential Jedi. After somehow creating peace with the sisters, he would move them to Coruscant and train Maul under his prestigious teachings, unlocking his potential for power and directing it to the light side of the Force. Sensing the natural yet immense rage that Maul possessed during his training, Yoda taught him to harness these abilities instead of ignoring them, focusing on them and learning to use them to his advantage. Having been the master of Mace Windu and teaching him to harness his powers of the light and the dark, Maul was no different to this scenario. Yoda had experience with his own dark side temptations, and if anyone could teach their Padawan how to redirect the hatred and lure, it was Grandmaster Yoda. As we know, Mace mastered Vapod, which was a variant of the Form 7 lightsaber fighting style. Also, it's the same style Maul used in the original timeline, and conveniently, in this story as well. Maul understood Yoda's teachings to harness the dark side, using it to his will instead of allowing it to use him. He learned the ways of the Force for decades, becoming one of the most talented Jedi in the galaxy, achieving the rank of Master under Yoda's close tutelage. He would eventually take the place of Master Windu and teach Anakin the art of martial arts and dueling acrobatics along with Qui-Gon's teaching. Since Maul is a Jedi, this would leave Darth Sidious to have another apprentice at his side. That apprentice would most likely be Count Dooku, as it would cause Palpatine to focus more of his manipulation tactics to speed up his inevitable turn to the dark side before Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. Dooku was already well on his way to turning to the dark side, especially once he left the Order, due to their lack of vision and adhering only to the people and the Republic. And as for Grievous in this timeline, well, Dooku was the person who was a large contributor to turning Grievous into a cyborg in the first place. Darth Maul would lead the Jedi as one of the most respected masters and combat duelists in the galaxy rivaling that of Master Yoda and Mace Windu. He would use his ability to harness dark side powers while remaining in the light, just as Master Windu can do, which is symbolized in his purple lightsaber. Purple lightsabers are indicative of force users who are of good nature, yet use dark side powers only when it is necessary, and are able to harness dark side powers from their opponent's energy. Episode 1 would be replaced with Count Dooku leading to the advancement of his dealings on Genosis in order to bring the Death Star plans to manifestation. The large battle of Jedi vs. Droids would still commence as it did in reality. However, the battle at the end would cause Maul to show up with Master Yoda to face Dooku. While Yoda would attend to Anakin and Obi-Wan's wounds, calling for medical attention, Maul would ignite his double-bladed lightsaber and approach Dooku without hesitation, ending him within minutes of the duel by the twirl of his saber, decapitating the Sith Lord. Sensing his feelings, he knew this was only the apprentice, as no real Sith Lord would be defeated so easily, even against Maul's skills. Yoda would then lead all of them back to Coruscant to further investigate the threat of the galaxy and reveal the sinister mastermind behind all the evil. Maul was known to be one of the most deep meditators after Master Yoda, Sith or Jedi. He had the ability to focus so deeply that he could see premonitions much stronger than his peers. He wondered why he could not find the Sith Lord behind all of this. He wanted to know so badly, but the dark side clouded everything, blocking his visions like a stone wall veiled before him. With the death of Dooku, Palpatine continued to work on Anakin, having taken great interest in the boy since he first learned of him through Darth Plagueis' failed creation and manifestation of the future masked Dark Lord. 
You're the Sith Lord. I'm going to turn you over to the Jedi Council. Of course, you should. But you're not sure of their intentions, are you? I will quickly discover the truth of all this. After this scene here, Anakin would inform Maul of Palpatine's treachery and the fact that he was a Sith Lord. Commanding Anakin to wait in the Jedi Council, Maul would go to Sidious alone. I am the Senate. pushed Sidious to the corner of the window as Anakin beckoned for him to stop, when he saw Darth Maul holding his lightsaber to the Emperor's throat, just like we saw in Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Only this time, instead of Mace Windu, Maul had taken his place, with Windu off on a mission with Ki Adi Mundi. Shouting that he needs him and he should be tried in the Galactic Court of Justice, Maul sneered, baring his sharp black teeth, his eyes an ice blue color. He knew this was the Sith Lord behind all the murders and turmoil in the galaxy, under his very nose. How could he have not seen the hidden power before him? The Emperor shot fierce force lightning at Maul, which caught his lightsaber, vibrating his arm tremendously, causing pain in his bones. Your reign is over. At last the Jedi will be avenged. At last the Sith will be no more. You can't. He must stand trial. I need He him. felt a shift in the Force. Unfortunately for him, Maul was too attuned to the Force and saw it before it even happened lifting Anakin and smashing him into the ceiling, rendering him unconscious on the floor, moving to finish the job on the Emperor. Hey, uh, when he heard a yell, No, no, try by the Jedi, he must. Give him to anger, you will not. My powerful Padawan. Yoda had appeared between them, facing the Emperor as he spoke to Maul from behind. Maul deactivated his lightsaber, bowing to his master. They cuffed Palpatine and sent medical droids to attend to Anakin, dealing with his fate later banishing him from the Council and the Jedi Order. Anakin would later, in another episode, rise as the Dark Lord of the Sith, as Darth Vader, completely skipping the Mustafar battle with Obi-Wan, leaving him with all his original limbs without the need for a respirator and the suit of Darth Vader that crippled him, allowing him to truly exasperate his potential with the dark side of the Force. The Jedi Council held a hearing for the Chancellor, sentencing him to 5,000 years in the most well-guarded jail facility in the galaxy, surrounded by temple guards, rancors, and other beasts floating in a man-made island in the depths of space. So be it. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut it right here because I want you all to write part two for me. Will Palpatine escape? Will he join Anakin and connect their destiny as it was written? Let me know how you'd like part two to go. I hope you all enjoyed this fanfiction. I decided to have this one animated as it was one of the more requested ones that should be redone. What would you like to see animated in a low poly for next time? What if Qui-Gon Jinn trained Anakin, perhaps? Or maybe something else? I really hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like to support the content, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Stay tuned for Darth Vader vs. the Hulk, which will be completed in high-level graphics. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, The Force will be with you. Always.